Welcome to the tutorial Street Lighting for Beginners. You can create a street project by selecting Road on the New tab in the Backstage view. Then fill in the project data and click OK to access the Relux Desktop user interface. The ribbon Road is activated only on road projects. This main menu is divided into three sections. On the left, you will find the scene parameters as well as the calculation option. In the middle, you will find the tools for automatic optimization. On the right, you will find the display settings for the light distribution curves. When planning road projects, it is suggested to activate the extended layout. This can be selected in the main ribbon window. In the ribbon Road, select Luminaire Row. Since no luminaire has been selected, the product selection interface will start automatically. The company Redux Demo is installed together with Redux Desktop. We set a suitable filter and select two street luminaires with an output of 5000 lumen. Further manufacturers can be installed locally in the online update submenu in the Help ribbon. Select the desired manufacturer and install their product data. The Luminaire selection is now available online, which can be found under the ribbon products ReluxNet. Locate and import photometric files by selecting the button Open in Relux Desktop. Back to our road project, the row of luminaires has already been placed with the first luminaire type. In the 3D view, we ensure the proper rotation of the light distribution curve. Then, we check the adjustment possibilities of the road. For this road, the automatic optimization takes only into account the part with the red measuring surface. It can be defined as a motorway with green stripes. There is a variety of parameters for defining the street situation. For example, you can define additional secondary roads on the left and right side of the road with their own measuring areas by selecting border area. Luminaires can be placed in different ways. Luminaires can also be copied and customized. It is possible to work with different luminaire types in the same scene. We copy a row and place it on the left side of the street. We do this at a distance of 2 meters to the road. Next, we change the luminaire type. In the 3D view, we see the different light distribution curves. The lighting class M4 is now selected with the desired values. These are the values to be achieved. By activating the calculation mode, the program calculates the street lighting in real time whenever the parameters are changed. The results are shown on the right. Simply said, green is sufficient, red is insufficient. We can now manually change various parameters and verify the results. For example, the distance between the luminaires, the height, the luminaire type and further parameters. In the Road Manager, several variants can be compared and assessed. However, this is easier with the Optimize function. With this, the program calculates the best option according to your preferences. There are thousands of calculations running in the background and you will simply get the best result for your purposes. We select the variables to be optimized, the distance and the luminaire type and start the optimize function. We can see in the results that the nominal values are fulfilled with a distance of 16 meters. However, a distance of 16 meters is not sufficient. So, we activate the next two variables, height and tilt, and then restart the optimize function. The new luminaire spacing is now 23.5 meters. If you would like to know more about the optimize function as well as outdoor installations, please have a look at our other tutorials on road lighting and dynamic planning in outdoor areas. We hope to have given you some insight regarding the new functions and would like to thank you for watching.